This is a dual tech. It's used to detect motion as part of an intruder alarm system. This video explains what a dual tech is, how it works, and why it's so popular compared with a standard PIR. Up until the mid to late 1980s, only single technology devices were available, like this PIR. After this period, dual techs came onto the market. Dual tech means dual technology. Nowadays, a dual tech is really the only type of motion detector installed in commercial properties, such as offices, factories, stores, garages, and so on. There are three types of intruder alarm motion detector. PIRs, microwaves, and ultrasonics. Each has its own method of detecting motion. In this video, I'm keeping things relatively simple to speed up the video. Here is a quick overview of how a PIR works. A PIR works on a heat principle, or more specifically, detecting infrared energy that's emitted from everyday objects. An important part of a PIR is the lens, which divides a room up into segments. The pyroelectric sensor detects sharp rises and falls as the object moves around, helped by the segments of the lens. Each rise and fall is called a pulse. I've created a separate video which goes through how a PIR works in greater detail. To see it, please click the link at the end of the video, or see the video description. The microwave works on a radio wave principle. A microwave transmitter, like this one, sends out pulses across the room. Some bounce back to the unit and a baseline reading is read. When the pulses are progressively taking longer or shorter to return back to the unit, this is considered as motion. The ultrasonic uses a speaker and microphone system. An ultrasonic sound is emitted from the speaker. Similar to the way the microwave works, the sound is reflected around the room and the microphone listens for any differences from the return signal using the Doppler effect. Alone, a PIR, microwave and ultrasonic are susceptible to false alarms. Here is a general list of sources for false alarms. Combining technologies helps massively reduce false alarms because one potential false alarm source can affect one technology but not the other. For example, a PIR and microwave combination. A heater can activate a PIR, but heat does not affect the microwave. Sunlight should never be allowed to shine right into a PIR's lens. However, the microwave will prevent the activation as it doesn't work on a heat principle. But a microwave signal can penetrate thin walls and detect through glass if the range adjustment hasn't been set up correctly. Here is a quick demonstration showing how microwave can detect through glass. Once the unit is obstructed by glass, the PIR now monitors the energy level of the glass itself and clears. The microwave, however, if not adjusted correctly, can penetrate the glass and detect motion on the other side. Please note that this is a triple glazed door. If this had been plasterboard, the microwave would hardly notice it's there. With only the microwave activating, the dual tech cannot produce an alarm. Therefore, combining technologies cancels out most sources of false alarms. Most dual techs have an LED system where yellow is the microwave and green is the PIR. When both microwave and PIR detect motion at the same time, this is when the red LED comes on and only then does the control panel know anything about the motion detection. Going back to the late 1970s, the first motion detectors were microwave only. 
Imagine having this on the wall of your living room. The size reduced over the years, but all microwave had this large horn type transmitter, meaning the units were massive. Most manufacturers opted to combine a PIR and ultrasonic, as the ultrasonic could be mounted in a smaller enclosure. But ultrasonics didn't have a great immunity to false alarms, when other everyday items interfered with the ultrasonic sound. For example, mechanical bells, which were very popular in old-fashioned telephones. By the 1990s, all dual techs combined a PIR and microwave. The size of the units drastically reduced when the microwave transmitter was miniaturized over the years to a small disc, which does the same job as the old ones. Most dual techs use the traditional LEDs of yellow, green and red. Yellow means the microwave has detected motion. Green, the PIR detected motion. When you get the microwave and PIR together, the red LED activates. Only then does the unit signal to the control panel that it's detected motion. For some detectors, the manufacturers have decided that blue is the new red. Now we have yellow for the microwave, green for the PIR, and now blue is the alarm signal. Other detectors have condensed the LEDs down to a single dual color LED. These ones can only go red and green. Green is the PIR as usual. Red is the alarm signal. So when red and green are mixed together, this makes yellow for the microwave. This manufacturer has reinvented the LEDs. This is an RGB LED, which can make any color in the spectrum. So this detector has the traditional green for the PIR, purple or pink for the microwave, and this beautiful cyan color for the alarm signal. With the extra detail of the LEDs fading off and on, I rather like it. Of course, if you want to deactivate the LEDs by switching them off inside the unit, then the unit will still work as normal. This dual tech, after power up, and once the unit has gone through its startup routine, the PIR and microwave can be tested as normal. Green for PIR, yellow for microwave, replaced by red when both activate together for the alarm signal. 10 minutes later, the yellow and green indications no longer show. This leaves just the red indication, which I suppose is all you need to know after the unit has been commissioned. So that is the Mr. Matt and Mr. Che definition of a dual tech. It's a motion detector that is far less prone to false alarms by combining two different detection principles. When both detect the motion, an alarm is produced. If you would like to see one of the first generation of dual techs, here is a ray called Gardal Gemini, which is a PIR and ultrasonic. For its time, this was a really compact unit Please click the link above to see this separate video. Or to learn how a PIR works in great detail, please see my PIR How It Works video by clicking the video in the top left. And there is also a link in the video description. A lot of time and effort goes into making these videos. Our motto is quality, not quantity. If you've enjoyed watching, please consider subscribing to the Mr. Matt and Mr. Che channel. Thank you very much for watching.